Hi everybody. Welcome to all our new subscribers. Sorry it's been such a long time since I've added a video to the series, but I've been really busy teaching and practicing myself. Jo is off training her fillies today, so it'll be just me. I'm going to work on some um, exercises on the Cadillac push-through bar. Great piece of um, equipment and great uh, apparatus on it so that um, really work on opening hips, opening shoulders. Um, I get a lot of clients who sit all day and so their shoulders and their hips are really tight and I like to really articulate the spine using um, kind of an all-around the world um, aspect of a push bar. Here we go. All right, now you can start this exercise with two springs on here, top loaded. Um, I think that's best for stability and I'll show you how to modify this both down and then for a little bit more advanced work, right? You would start out by just kind of breathing, getting long, bringing your hips right over your knees and thinking about pulling your abdominals in and up, dropping the sit bones here so you feel like you just pressed yourself between a sandwich board or I like to call my panini sandwich here, and then gluing it in from the inside of your abs. Okay, take a couple of breaths here, breathing in through the nose. Exhale, pursing your lips, letting that breath out and gently drawing the abdominals in and up. We're just going to do a couple of tricep presses here. You could do um, a couple of sets of 10. I'm just going to do 5 to 8 here just to warm up my arms up a bit. Taking a breath in and exhale, press down. You can really feel the activation of the core here. It's amazing how this little exercise really helps you lengthen and stabilize at the same time. Pulling the belly in. Elbows should be tight to your side and you're pressing your shin bones down to give you a little stability here. Exhale, inhale. Really feel the shoulders relax here as you press down, gently depressing your shoulder girdles along with the triceps working. Good. I'll try to do two more. You'll notice for all my videos, and I'm not the best person for counting, you modify up or down as you need to. Now as I press down here, I'm getting stable. I'm pressing my pelvis forward and feeling my shin bones drawing down. Take a breath in again. And then exhale, I want you to draw your head gently over like you're coming up over a waterfall here. Try to stabilize using those abdominals drawing in and up, pressing the shin bones down. And try to come forward as much as possible before you let the hips open. Stretch your sit bones back. Let your shoulders open and just bring your head right in line with the arms. As you come, start to come back up, resist the urge to pitch your head up. Instead, pull the tailbone under, pull the abdominals in. Really use your lats to draw you up, taking your time, articulating that spine. It feels really good. And then you take a breath in and we start it all over. Exhale. Start to breathe through your spine. Keeping that pelvis pressing forward, your abs are in and up, and really reach it out using the nice spring tension here to help you reach through and articulate your back. Again, as you're drawing in, you're pulling that tailbone under, articulating. Really try to keep your head down as you build that wall of your spine back up. Okay, if you were feeling a little frisky today, and you wanted to try a little bit more, take one spring off. It'll make it easier on your arms, of course, but more unstable. So you've got to go better in your balance, better in your core. I'm going to just take an inhale and then exhale, press down, really tightening my abs in and up, rolling through that spine one more time, pressing down, finding every little inch of stability that I can. On oh, it's such a release when you sit your sit bones back, feel like you're stretching to the outer wall, and then reach the back out to really work on articulating those shoulders. As you start to come back in, you feed from the bottom, pulling it under, in and up. Good. Try to not drop back. It gets a little bit harder as you come up. Ooh, this one is definitely harder. Rolling back through the spine. Feels very satisfying. Now, if you're having a challenging day or if you're less experienced, you can always do this in a more um, uh, lower position here and just kind of be down onto the shin bones here. And as you press out, just give yourself a good stretch. All right, so it's like a um, kneeling cat cow here, which we do on the chair and a lot of different movements. And then you would just draw under. And you could be elevated here. You could also be just be totally down to your hips. It's a great stretch. Breathe it out and pulling it under. Okay, good. So the next one here is we're going to come into the seated 
push through bar. If your hips are tight, you want to elevate them onto a, um, a mat or a box. All right, and so from here, what I want to do is work on opening my upper back and spine. You can also bend your knees slightly here. I'm going to press my heels in. I have pretty tight shoulders, do a lot of computer work here, so I have to really work to stay out of my trapezius and work into my lats more. Just sitting here, drawing my sit bones down and pressing up, trying to really activate my shoulder girdle and shrug down. So I work a couple of times to feel how long I can make my spine without hiking my shoulders up. If you take time to really energize here, it's amazing how you can find length almost to your fingertips all the way up. As I start to come down here, I want to feel like I'm sitting in somebody's lap, scooping under, try to keep straight arms to really work that lat connection, and then diving through, stretching here. Again, softening the knees. I have really good hamstring length, so this feels good to me. Good, and then coming back, rebuilding that spine, stacking it up, controlling the arms as you go back up, using those lats, sitting up taller. This time I'm going to look up a little bit and see if I can open my neck, again, without hiking the shoulders. Pressing up first through the lats and then sinking them down and start to run that through again. Deep abdominals, reaching through. Oh, it feels so good. Stretch. You should feel this in your hamstrings and in your glutes, not in your low back. And I'm just going to do five little push-ups here with my abdominals drawing in. Exhale. Abs tighten as I press out. Good. Again, trying to stay out of my trapezius, the upper shoulder muscles. Reaching out and drawing back in. And exhale. Good. And then this time, I'm going to come up and just do a little variation of around the world. I'm just going to kind of do a half around the world, opening out, because it just feels really nice to rotate through my thoracic area. Good. And then I'm just going to bring it up and try it to the other side. Just allow myself to kind of hang back there, opening up through the upper back. I'll try one more because that's very juicy. Rotate through my thoracic area and really open up through the shoulders, and then I might even let my head come back and work into some extension in my upper back. And I think this time I'm going to sweep it through to my right foot, to my left, almost like I'm doing all. And here's where you can get some really lovely adjustment. Okay, again, you can soften the knees if you feel any tightness in those hamstrings. But using this bottom hand to gently help you resist as you twist in and up feels fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to take my hand back here, try one more time to open out from the same, the other side, and then allowing my sternum to kind of pick up and articulate my upper back. And then I'm going to sweep the left hand to the left foot, reach over to the right. So you can see this spiraling action here, keeping the hips squared, Pull the navel in and using this bottom hand, it could be up on the top of my thigh, it could be lower, and really feel like you're drawing in and up to spiral, bringing out your spine. Hmm, feels great. Okay, I'm going to work into a little bit now on a side kneeling cap. So working through here, again, you could modify, you could be in a seated position here. I'm going to do it from a standing position because, again, I think it helps open to the hips. All right, you want to get that stability. You could hook your feet on the back of the uh, Cadillac, or you can just press the tops of your feet down work through your shin. Let that right hand, as you start here, be um, coming right out of your shoulders. First thing I want you again to feel is that sense of the panini sandwich here, pressing your pelvis forward, stabilizing through your hips. Then take the left hand to the hip and allow this stretch to first happen from your obliques, okay? Getting your stabilization there. Then I like to take this left hand here and feel like you're really bisecting your ear, like a little tomahawk, and stretch over and you get this whole new range of stretch through your lats. Feels so good. And it asks so much of our stability as you start to draw back up. Feel the obliques, feel the lats working up. Now I could have come a little further out to work through um, my uh, 
tricep stability here, my lats, but I'm just going to do it with a bent arm because it's a little easier to see on the camera. Again, I'm going to start by gently pressing that pelvis forward, but drawing my abs in and up. Feel the oblique connection. Good, and then reaching over, strong through the center. I'm going to use that right arm to help me lengthen through that right waistline. Good, and then if I felt like, if I had the stability, I can rotate the left hand to the bar. And as I do that, I want to pull in with that right oblique and lat and feel like the left hand is reaching to the right. So there's this nice counter force going on that gives you a whole lot of connection at the base of the shoulder girdle. One more time. Opening up. And then exhale. Rotate here. Unrotate. Find the stability. Drawing back up to center. Good. And then reach. Now, unfortunately, you're going to have to look at my backside as I do this from the other side. But it'll help you see what we're working here. So I apologize for turning my butt to the camera here. All right, again, I'm going to stabilize, press my shins down, pelvis forward. First, rooting through those obliques. So try not to sway back here. Try not to lean or arch your back. You're pulling in and up. Finding the stability is a lot harder for me as a dominant right-hand person to control this. You really want to feel both shins working here, bisecting that hand right by the ear, and find a deeper lat connection. You really miss that second gear if you don't first stabilize through the hips, the obliques. Good, so I'm going to draw this hip down so that I'm not collapsing on the underside or hiking the hip here. And then I'm going to reach this up and stretch. From here, I'm going to be stable in my pelvis, and then I'm going to rotate my right arm as I bring the left one in. So there's this great spiraling action happening here. Good, pull the navel in and rotate, rotate, rotate. Good. Drawing back up and floating back to the center. Okay, just to complete a little bit of movement here on all parts of the body, I'm going to turn to the back now. And you can have knees here or you could have them straight, but I like to do this more from a C curve position. All right, and we're also going to do it two ways. I want you to feel it in external rotation of the shoulders, and you can also try internal rotation because for some people it's very very tight um, to do one way, but they can succeed with the other. So from here, I want to come back into my C curve, pulling the navel in, trying to keep my thoracic area open as I stretch through the upper back. Oh, feels so good. Drawing it in and up. Trying not to hyperextend my elbows. Pull the navel in as I stretch through the upper back. I love this position. I'm not as much a fan of the internal rotation, but I'm going to try it one time just to show you try to keep the shoulder blades open, scoop into your abdominals. It is important to open through the front of the biceps, so I'm going to try that here. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of a half roll back here and rotate to the other side, opening up through the obliques, and come back, taking the right hand here, rotate back, Keeping the hips squared in the center and drawing back in. So just about tenths of this, I think, can make a huge difference in how you feel. You can always seem to feel a little bit in at a time. Don't think about exercises having to be an hour commitment every day. Five, ten minutes, even fifteen, you can do a lot of great work. See you next time.